All right, Joystick News family, today we're diving deep into the heart of Dragon's Dogma 2, a game that's captivated many of us with its expansive world and thrilling combat. But there's a dark cloud hanging over the land of Granzies, and it's not just from the fire-breathing dragons. It's something much more insidious, something that's been grinding gears across the gaming community. I'm talking about the dreaded Dragon's Plague. The Dragon's Plague Crisis. Imagine you're adventuring through the breathtaking landscapes of Dragon's Dogma 2, your loyal pawns by your side, ready to take on whatever the game throws at you. Then, out of nowhere, this plague hits, turning your trusted allies into NPC murdering fiends. That's right, folks, the Dragon's Plague isn't just a minor inconvenience, it's a game changer, quite literally. This menacing feature can lead to your pawns going berserk killing off major NPCs and potentially ruining your entire playthrough. The community's outcry. The gaming forums and social media are ablaze and it's not with tales of dragon slaying. Players are voicing their frustrations loud and clear. The consensus? The Dragon's Plague is more of a nuisance than an interesting game mechanic. It's got many calling for Capcom to revisit this punishing feature, asking for a balance between challenge and enjoyment. Understanding the Plague But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Understanding the Dragon's Plague is key to mastering it. The infection spreads through contact with Dragonkin, turning your pawn's eyes a glowing red, making them disobedient and causing them to exhibit strange behaviors like clutching their heads in pain. The worst part, if left unchecked, these infected pawns can turn on NPCs, including those vital for quest lines. The Cure You might be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, prevention is better than cure, but if your pawn does get infected, you're looking at throwing them into the brine and pulling them back through the rift to cleanse them. It's harsh, but necessary. For pawns belonging to other players, a simple dismissal might do the trick. The game nudges us to keep our party fresh, but this mechanic certainly adds a layer of urgency to that advice. Looking forward. Dragon's Dogma 2 has made waves for its ambitious open world and captivating gameplay, but the Dragon's Plague has definitely put a damper on the experience for many. As we rally together, sharing tips and strategies on forums and through social media, it's clear that the community's feedback is crucial. Will Capcom listen and make adjustments? Only time will tell. In the meantime, keep those pawns close and those antidotes closer. Dragon's Dogma 2 is a journey worth taking, but like any good adventure, it's not without its trials. Stay vigilant, adventurers, and may your path be free of the plague. And there you have it, Joystick News fans. The Dragon's Plague, a test of patience, strategy, and the bonds of virtual friendship. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this deep dive helpful and subscribe for more gaming news, tips and tales from the front lines of Dragon's Dogma 2. Until next time, keep those controllers charged and your spirits high.